So we're going to look at using continuous compound interest. So Khaled finds an account that will allow him to invest 500 dirhams at a 4% interest rate compounded continuously. Assume there are no other deposits or withdrawals. How much will Khaled have in his account after five years? So we need to use the compound interest but for continuous. So this is going to be slightly different to what we've seen before. And we'll have the principal amount, but this time we're going to use the uh, natural base of E. And this is going to be to the power, and this is raised to R multiplied by T, RT. So this is where P is the principal amount or the original amount. And in our question, our principal amount is going to be the amount we invested. So this is going to be 500 dirhams. The rate. So we have the rate, which needs to be in decimal. So if we divide by 100, we'll have 0 0.04. So this is going to be our rate. And the time. So if we look at the time, we will have, actually, I didn't highlight that as well. Let's just do that. So this is the rate, 4%, and the time. So the time is going to be after five years. So time is five years. And this is what we have here. So now we're going to just substitute this in. So A... So our principal amount is going to be 500. So E, and this is raised to the power of RT. So we have 0 0.04 multiplied by 5. So if you put this into the calculator, so we have 500. And our E is here. So we need to use the shift. So shift and LN. So this is going to take us to e to the power. And this is going to be, we have 0 0.04. Now we can put this in brackets or we can use the multiply. And this is going to be 610. Now this is going to round down. So this is going to be 70. So our answer is 610. 0 0.70. So a 610 dirhams, 70 fills. So after five years compounded continuously, Khaled will have 610 dirhams, 70 fills in his account.